Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, any placement of Aquarius actually. This is going to be your reading for October 16th through the 31st, 2022. Welcome back subscribers, welcome if you are new. We are officially in eclipse season. We're building to the first eclipse which will be at the new moon in Scorpio on October 25th. So I'm curious how you guys are doing. Are you already feeling some of the energies? Um, also those of you who don't know, I am a clairvoyant psychic. Um, a reader and healer uh, and a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance readings and healing so it doesn't matter where you live I've been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four and a half years now all the information is on my website you can also take advantage of a 15% discount off your very first session with me all right Aquarius let's get you an overall energy Oh, interesting. I like this one, Aquarius. You've got the moth spirit. Surrender now. Mm. There was a similar message that came through for Libra around surrendering and co-creating with spirit. So um, for this to be coming through for you guys, I feel it's just really in alignment because there is something happening where um, letting go of control and softening up a bit in the flow of things is kind of been a natural energy that's coming through so Aquarius if you, if you guys have been feeling that know that that is okay and with the surrendering I'm also hearing a surrendering of the mind of the thoughts of the mental energy the personality the ego whatever it is that um, you want to call it so surrendering that energy is going to allow the voice and the messages of spirit to come through so much stronger so much more clear um, which really can help align you onto your highest and best path so I'm just hearing Aquarius if you um, ask yourself where am I resisting or where am I trying to control that is where some of um, what you can be releasing and letting go of will show up and that will be that will be made clear for you okay really beautiful all right let's see what else we've got for you Second row is your specific person, Aquarius. Those of you dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know about their energy? Oh, there it is. That came out quick. Okay, third row, any final messages? Okay, first up Aquarius, starting out with two major arcana cards. Look at this, we've got the Justice card, the Fool card, followed by the King of Cups here. So um, I'm actually really liking these cards for you. I'm seeing this King of Cups as somebody coming in for you or somebody who is actually, they may you may have already met this person. I'm seeing them already in your energy field, so they're either... Um, you know, friends of friends or in your community, maybe around, you know, your coffee shop or your yoga studio. I'm seeing uh, this King of Cups energy in your space. Um, whether you have officially met or not, that's going to be different for each of you. But I do feel their energy quite strongly. They are aware of you. Aquarius, you may not be so aware of them just yet, okay? Um, but with the Justice card here and the Fool card here, I'm seeing for you, Aquarius, they're Something that you've been wanting to um, be complete or finalized is coming to completion, okay? The Justice card is coming in here to wrap up. If you have had any sort of contract or licensing or um, legal agreement or anything like that that has been in the works, I'm seeing that get into like the final stages and completion, okay? And I'm seeing that whatever that is for you is going to make you feel so much lighter you have been wanting this to be finished and complete for a while now, okay? So the universe is stepping in to really help with the justice card in, um, like it says, bringing in justice where needed. You may get some answers and clarity around a specific situation that has also been unclear for you. Um, the justice card also brings in in regards to a partnership or a relationship, or this could even be a friendship or a business partnership. 
it brings in the 50-50 equality, okay, within the relationship. So um, if something has been out of balance for you in that way, this uh, justice card is bringing into, like the scale show, bring things into balance, okay, which is gonna be a much healthier place. And with that, the full card, this is my footloose and fancy free card, Aquarius. So you are gonna be feeling much lighter, much more clear, much more airy, which you love that. Um, and again, coming back to the surrender now, you can even ask yourself, is there any other energy or things that you can surrender, you can release, you can lighten your load, so to say? You know, what baggage needs to be dropped here? Um, another thing that I love about the Fool card is it's got the energy really focused on the journey and not so much on the destination. So again, it allows for that surrender. It allows for that trusting in the process versus being so caught up on the end goal or where you want to be going. Because when you're focused on the journey, the end destination may change, right? It may You may go a different direction and that is okay. And I feel that is what spirit wants you to hear. Um, it's letting go of that control of what you want for the outcome. And I'm seeing that that energy shift in you is where this King of Cups is going to be coming into play. And the, the fact that the, the back is a little bit turned to the other cards here, this is why I'm seeing them just kind of in your energy field, but not fully, fully connected yet. So, you know, be mindful of that. You may bump into this person or meet them um, over the next few weeks. And um, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer coming through. I've also got strong Libra showing up here as well for you, Aquarius. Um, but I will say with this King of Cups, there is an emotional maturity that is coming through in this card. Um, which is really important for you because you've done so much work on yourself, Aquarius, that you need somebody who is mature um, within them, their emotions and with, within themselves and where they're at in their journey. And I'm really picking that up here from this King of Cups energy. They are like very clear of who they are and what they bring to the table, um, which is quite attractive to you, okay? All right, those of you dealing with a specific person, those of you dealing with a specific person, um, I'm immediately seeing a little bit of an inner struggle going on here with your specific person. And the, the struggle that they are feeling has to do with being really firm and rigid and controlling versus softer and more emotional and like letting those emotions come out. So it's I'm seeing like your specific person, they want to open up emotionally, but they're really scared, Aquarius. They're scared because um, their emotions feel so strong that feeling those emotions gives them a sense of uh, feeling out of control in some way. And the emperor energy like very much likes to be in control. Um, it's a more stoic energy, a more masculine um, kind of like type A driver energy. And so when these emotions are coming up that they feel towards you, it's a little bit overwhelming for them. Okay. So I want you to know that. Um, they may be getting some help or therapy or counseling around this. Um, I am seeing like a third uh, a third person, not necessarily a th third party, but I am seeing somebody involved um, with your specific person that is like helpful. So they are giving guidance, they are giving counseling, they are giving, you know, an outside opinion or a thought, uh, which I think is actually really positive because your specific person, like I said, I'm seeing just an inner struggle with them. Um, but the positive note is they do have feelings for you, Aquarius. They do, I, I see their energy like very much um, attracted to you, curious about you, wanting, you know, to explore more with you, but they're feeling blocked in themselves as far as trusting those emotions um, to not cause them to lose all self-control, right? So um, just know that and, and building to this um, Scorpio new moon, you know, Scorpio is a sign that's very much about control. So this new moon um, and eclipse, I feel is really gonna help your specific person maybe shed some of that fear around um, the controlling energy and trusting the flow of the emotions a little bit more, okay? Um, you could be dealing with uh, um, an Aries. I've also seen water out here again, same as the first row. So it could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer here. Okay, third row, Aquarius. What do we have for you here? Two of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Death card. 
Okay, so definitely a cycle coming to completion. I've been talking about this new moon in Scorpio. We've got the Scorpio card here. It is the last card that came out and it's towards the end of the reading, which the new moon is on the 25th, 26th, depending on where you live. There, you're getting to a point, um, Aquarius, where you're wanting to make a decision uh, for yourself, for your life, for your direction, for your calling. I'm seeing this as like a really big shift for you of maybe even changing jobs, changing where you live, um, changing the way you look and your appearance. Um, I'm seeing a decision for change and it's gonna be really a positive thing it feels a little bit scary here with the Knight of Wands energy um, because I'm seeing that it is kind of a big decision. Um, so for example, if you have really long hair and you're gonna you know, cut it up really short or um, you're moving towns or moving jobs, like those are really big, big changes. So it does bring a little bit of fear, um, but you're moving through a cycle. You're, you're moving through the death of something, okay? It can be the death of parts of yourself, habits, behaviors, um, environment, people, whatever it is. Tis the season of things falling out of our life that we no longer need and that is no longer in alignment. And that can be painful. So that's not always easy. There is a grieving process that happens and I feel like the death card is really highlighting that for you here, okay? Um, a lot of fire energy here. So Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries coming in as well as Scorpio energy here. So, okay, again, we've got water, really strong water, strong Scorpio, but also Pisces and Cancer energy. We've got Libra and Aries out here. Um, as well as Leo and Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, those are the main, main ones. Let me see what else we've got for you. Okay, you've got the study card. Um, I'm seeing this as like a study, study meaning being aware of your awareness, okay? So studying some of your habits, your patterns, like being aware of, oh, why am I reacting this way? Or why did I feel that when this happened? I'm seeing you like do a self-study here, um, which is really beautiful. That self-reflection is really powerful for you, Aquarius, and it's gonna help with this surrender now energy. Um, because as soon as we become self-aware and kind of curious about the self, that is a form of surrender. Typically, the mind or the personality is more rigid, more like this is how it is um, type energy. So as soon as you shift that into why is this the way it is or why do I respond or react this way in this situation, that is a form of surrender. So I'm seeing be curious about yourself, be playful you know, within yourself about your patterns and your habits. We all have them. We all you know, block ourselves in one way or another. And I'm seeing this as a really beautiful opportunity for you to kind of shift and grow past that. All right, let's get you a spirit animal message. All right, Aquarius, you've got the dog. Friend, today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend. Beautiful Aquarius. I'm seeing this for you as, you know, the more connected with yourself, the more you surrender in trusting and allowing, I do see your connections around you getting stronger as well because there's more room for people to be who they are with you because you are being more of you who you are with them. Um, so I'm just seeing the friendship, the companionship of those around you is also going to be really important for you. And that may be shifting a little bit, which is quite beautiful. I think that's all that's coming through for you. I hope this resonates, Aquarius. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Aquarius. 
Um, thank you for the likes, subscribes, and comments. They really do make a difference. And if you missed the intro, I am a clairvoyant, psychic reader and healer and master energy therapist. I specialize in distance readings and healing. So it doesn't matter where you live. I've been a full-time master healer for clients globally uh, for over four and a half years now. The link below to my website has all the information there for you, as well as a 15% discount off your very first session with me, okay? So you could take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, Aquarius, I think that's it. I'm wishing you guys a beautiful finish to October. Enjoy this new moon and the first eclipse. We've got the second one coming in November, and I will see you guys back here for the second half of, um, or the first half of November readings. Take care.